personally. I wonder if you could just speak to the growth from where you started to, you know, being with the foot and not participate to the role you had in the playoffs. Oh, it's been a, <clears throat> it's been a great year. Uh, you know, obviously, it ended the way we wanted, you know, falling a little short uh, from the ultimate goal. But, um, you know, as far as me personally, uh, the surgery back in April, uh, not knowing where I was going to be, you know, being a free agent uh, and free agency hitting, getting a Get numerous phone calls and you know, going through that entire process and um, signing with Atlanta, you know, still not knowing, you know, how my year will be and then getting hit like, oh, we're going to change the jump shot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's been a heck of a ride, man, and um, I wouldn't change anything about it, you know, other than obviously winning it all, but other than that, you know, the challenge was there every day. Um, you know, I had to show up every day locked in because uh, it's easy to go backwards, you know, coming off an injury, been thrown into a new situation. So uh, really test my my mental ability to, you know, to stay focused and keep my eye on the bigger picture. You know, uh, my optimism was at an all-time high this year, you know, for me uh, personally and for the team, uh, you know, just uh, not having the, my athleticism, which is, you know, maybe 98% of my game at this point. Uh, you know, actually having to learn to play the game, you know, below the rim, uh, being in the right spots to try to stay in front of guys, you know, not having that step. And then um, just, you know, getting better throughout the year, getting confident in my jumper, um, getting confident in my teammates, getting confidence from them. Uh, you know, it's just everything was just it kept moving in the right direction. And then, you know, playing in the playoffs, you know, first time, Actually having a role, you know, uh, when I was at Golden State, would just come in, have the shot clock into the quarter, try to get a stop. But actually being in the rotation, you know, it meant a lot to actually be a part of something. You know, be a part of something special. And with Cal going down, getting a start, you know, in the Eastern Conference Finals against uh, the Cavaliers and LeBron James, and being in front of the media, saying I, I think we're still a better team. You know? <laughs> still uh, think that? Yeah, yeah. I still think. That. <laughs> uh, what, what do you say to the critics when they uh, they laughed at your optimism during the uh, Eastern Conference Finals? Uh, I mean, it's, that's just who I am. You know, that's, that's why you know people always say I'm one of the better teammates. You know, because of my optimism. You know, I, I never see, you know, I always see the light in every situation. Uh, and I kept telling the guys in the locker room the entire time, all we need is one. All we need is one win, and you know, turn this thing around. And, you know, we felt a little bit short, but you know, giving guys that optimism. Really, sh like, it helps them show up every day, believing we have a chance, and it really helps us go out there and play as hard as we can. Because you know, at the end of the day, I mean, we, we do have a chance, and uh, it's not about you know the reality of the situation; it's about what you believe. And, and as long as you believe, you know, you give yourself a chance, and that's all you need. That's all you need. All you need is that little slither of daylight, that slither of hope, you know, and you can turn things around. So I mean, that's. I mean, I, I didn't say that, but that's, that was my train of thought. And, you know, for people that didn't understand that at the time, you know, I, I don't really know what to say to them. Yeah, what they expect you to say that you talk? Y'all were the worst team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's one question I asked. I mean, like, what am I supposed to say? I mean, we're terrible. No, we have that, no chance. Yeah, you know, I mean, you gotta, you can't go in there thinking that way. You can get, you know, ran out of the gym. And, um, so, game three was a big game for us, you know, uh, mentally. You know, it kind of hurt for us, you know, to play that hard, play that well, and come up short. Um, but it showed that we were fighting, and uh, you know, great group of guys here. You know, front office, coach staff. And coach staff was tremendous this year. You know, putting up with me when you know, I get out there sometimes and just you know, go wild. But you know, they're very patient with me. You know, understanding. You know, it was a learning process for me, and you know, making it as easy as possible for me. As an optimist, and you're optimistic that. Mr. Carroll will be here on this court uh, come the fall. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I got I got my hands full of lobbying this summer, <laughs> trying to get those guys back. But uh, no, I think we we created a special bond here this year. Uh, obviously, it's my first year here, and um, we guys like Paul and, and Demari, you know, they they're, they're special guys to me because you know, they understand the grind. You know, uh, even Paul coming from Louisiana Tech, Old Dominion. Louisiana Tech and Conference USA now, so we played them twice this year, and we had some, you know, battles uh, verbally to each other. Uh, 
So uh, we just, you know, it's when you when you build bonds, when you go this deep in the playoffs, and you endure so many things, you win together. You know, you look at the month of January. Uh, you look at that stretch, 32 and three, 35 games, something crazy like that. Uh, those are bonds that you know you keep forever. You know, those things are never be broken. And uh, you know, we're family here, and you know, regardless of what happens, you know, those guys will still be my guys. You know, from here on out. Yeah,